D, wait for it. Light bulb. I got the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I finished the episode. Sorry this is coming so late. I had to work earlier today, so I couldn't uh, watch this episode slash do this review slash breakdown uh, right now. But I'm doing it uh, now. I couldn't do it earlier, but I'm doing it now. Um, and I have to say, I this episode was very mediocre, in my opinion. I mean... It's nothing that we haven't seen before, and we really didn't learn that much information. I mean, it was kind of fun to see Cut um, from this. I think that was his name, Cut. The, the the clone that we saw in Clone Wars that, like, broke off from the group and everything. Um, but I have to just say, other than that, I was really luckluster. You're not really – or lackluster, sorry. <laughs> You're not really learning that much about anything as far as I'm concerned. So it was that's why it was kind of, like, kind of – lackluster so let's get started on this episode so i can get through it because like i said it wasn't bad but it wasn't that great i mean it was just it was really lackluster okay so it starts off obviously they just escaped from camino and they're heading over to k19 now, a lot of people online thought it was cut the the clone that had broke off from the rest of the troopers and then or the um uh the senate uh and uh the republic there we go and then um Got a wife who was a Twi'lek, and then they had two kids. And I remember this this character very much so and everything. So then they're on here, and he, he goes and he sees that they're all passed out. Him and uh, her, uh, Omega and uh, Razor Fist. I don't remember his name. Anyways. And he's all like, hey, we're going to go, you know, K-19. So they end up at K-19. <clears throat> they land their ship, and they get out. And she's all like, what's going on here? I don't understand, kind of thing. She gets off, and she starts playing with the dirt. She's like, what is this? And he's like, it's dirt. And she's like, hi, this is magnificent. I love dirt and everything. She doesn't say I love dirt, but anyways. So then they're walking through these little fields. And she's having a hail of time. She's like, I've never been off the, the the landing area of Camino, the water world or whatnot. And so they're walking and everything. They come across a booby trap. And the big dumb one, he steps into it. And they pop out with their guns and everything. And they're like, oh, you're here. So then they're inside their house, and they're just chilling kind of thing, and, uh, you know, talking about how the Empire, it, it, the, 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 uh, the Republic is now the Empire and everything, and, you know, very boring stuff, in my opinion. And they're like, oh, we brought along Omega because she's a, a clone, just like us, kind of thing. So then uh, the two kids from Cut and his wife, I don't remember his wife's name, I don't even know if they mentioned it in this episode, but they show up and they're like, oh, there's never any kids here and everything. So they go outside and they're playing ball, and she's like, what's the, what's the point to throw in this ball? And they're like, it's fun and everything. So they throw the ball to her and everything, and they're just having a hand time. He's all like, <clears throat> you know, what's your whole deal about this kind of thing? And he's all like, you know, my kids and my wife, they make life worth living kind of thing. And I'm, I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly what he said. So then they're playing everything. She's out of sight. So they go into town because they also, during that conversation, sorry, they're during that conversation, they're all like, we need to get off this planet. Or we, yeah, and we're going to find, we'll find passage off this planet through a transport and everything. And he's like, why don't you, he's like, uh, we're not going to come with you kind of thing because you're dangerous. So they go into town and they're, they're confiscating ships and they're bringing them to this thing, so this little courtyard so they can tag them. And then, so they, they're, they're looking for this little lady, and they're like, hey, we need, you know, uh, uh, we need to get out of here. I need a transport, sorry. Ah, a little tired. And everything. And then this guy makes an announcement about the Empire. And then this guy tries to get on the ship, and they're like, you don't have a code. And I can't remember the name of the little, you don't have a barcode. So he's like, I need to get on the ship, and everything. And every person needs a, a number code or so then back at Farmy Farm, the ball goes outside the fence, this little barbed wire fence here. And so they're like, oh, just leave it. We'll get it later. And she's all like, hey, I'm stupid, so I'm going to go get it. So she goes outside, the, which that's the thing about kids in these shows, in any show, is they're always like, somebody will be like, don't do this, and they do it, like, hey, I'm not telling you to do this because I don't want you to have fun. I'm telling you don't do this because you might get killed by a crazy space tiger cat thing. So maybe I should shut up and listen, stupid. 
So then she, go, of course, goes after the ball, and there's that little, you know, in this one, he's looking like a little critter from that movie Critters. Anyways, so he's all coming up from the behind. It's the cat creature from um, uh, Attack of the Clones. I don't remember what they're called. It doesn't even matter. And they're in here talking about how they need to get the code and everything. They, need to get, they all need to get a code thing out, and then the son comes in. Oh, my goodness. I am young, young, sir. Anyways, and he's all like, Hey, Omega's outside the fence, and there's a cat creature. They're going to eat her, and I hope it does. Anyways, so this cat creature's all and everything. And so they start shooting at it. She shoots it a, uh, a couple times, and then this guy comes out, uh, and he's, like, knifing it and stuff. And he's like, what were you thinking? And then um, Cut's all like, calm down. Are you all right? Kind of thing. And he comforts her and everything, and they go inside. And then she goes into the ship to hang out. She's like, oh, I messed up, kind of thing, you know, boom, boom, me, and everything. Yeah, you did mess up, stupid. And she takes off her little crown thingy, and it changes her hair a little bit. But she looks like a dude right there. I mean, which is fine, but, like, I don't know where they're going with this character. In my opinion, she kind of sucks. But whatever, anyways. So in the back of the house, they're all like, we're going to get you some codes, but I want you to take Omega with you because, uh, you know, she needs to be around family. And the mom lady's all like, oh my gosh. Sorry. The mom's all like, are you sure this is uh, what she wants? And he's all like, no, I don't know if this is what she wants, but this is what she needs. She needs a family. I agree. She needs a family unit. These these guys are crazy. This is not a good family unit. The clones. I'm sorry. It's, it's not. So then these two are sitting here and they're all like, we're going to figure this whole thing out. We know what to do. We're going to get our, our ship tag, our, our, our uh, take into that little port thing, you know, whatever, that they were tagging the ships in. And then we're going to steal the little car code things that we need to get on the transport, and we're going to steal them for uh, cutscene. So they do that, but he's all like, you made a mistake, Omega's on the ship. And she's like, oh, I think your plan is perfect, and everything. So they, so they get, get back there, there and these guys go on a ship and they're all like looking and they're like, it's a mess, what kind of trip is this kind of thing? And they're up in the ceiling and they get down and everything. And so, um, this one, uh, Fives, is it Fives? I don't know. The one that's half machine. He goes and he, uh, gets, uh, he, he sneaks into this little thing and he gets all the stuff they need. He goes back and then, um, Tech is doing this little thing, little making their little barcode things. And then, so they get in line, and they're all like, hey, and then Cut's all like, I don't know what's going on here, we need to hurry this up, because I'm scared, and everything. And he's all like, don't worry, they're going to help us get out of here, and everything. Then all these soldiers, soldiers show up. Soldiers, all the soldiers show up. Um, and so they're like, we can't get past all these men, and so then Omega's going to do it. So she sneaks out, but she bumps into this droid, and the droid's all like, hee, and everything. And, and then, then uh, the, the big, big dumb one shows up, destroys the droid, and he's like, go do your thing. And then he attacks these guys. They're, they're standing in the line. And they're walking through the line, they're checking, checking people, he's like, we need to get out of here. And he's like, no, trust them be here. And then Omega shows up with the cast codes, and she's all like, hey, he need five instead of four. Oopsie. He's like, no, you need to go. She's, she's like, like, no, I want to stay with you. And he's like, no, this is what you need. You need to go with this family. You need to be with the family. You need to be with people that can take care of you, show you what, you know, how to be a good person kind of thing. And he is right. Uh, this is what she needs. She needs a family unit, not this dysfunctional uh, group of dudes who are on the run all the time. So, so they, they go, go through the line, there's a big shootout and everything, and they, they get through, and they're all nervous, and they're like, you're clear, and everything, and they go through, and he goes back to help the other ones out, and she's all like, come on, it'll be okay. So then there's a big fight, 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 and shoot out and everything, and then this guy, all he does is he just rips the, the thing off of the, the ship, and uh, yeah, big waste of time. So then they get on the ship, but then um, as they're up here, he's all like, hey, wait a minute, you kind of look like, and then there's like a shootout at the dock, so they go to the docks, they get out. He's got to fire and everything. The, the transport, transport gets, gets away with cutting his family. Omega gets, gets back on the ship with these guys, and they escape. escape. So while they're on the ship, she's, she's all like, you know, know I, I have a, to, I'm really sorry about screwing up with the cat thing earlier and all that stuff, but I won't, I won't be here and everything. And he's like, like I've got a lot to learn, too, and everything. And I'm all like, um, not, not really. This, this little girl messed up, and it's her fault. She messed up, like, all the way around. <laughs> and you, you taking her with you is horrible. It's, it's the, the worst, worst decision, decision because he is, he is not, not clearly not father type. 
um, she needs uh, that, that, that family unit, and she's, she's not going to get a visitor. visitor. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's just, just the truth right there. So, so like, like I, I said, said, overall, I mean, this wasn't a bad episode, like I said before, but this was not a good episode, you guys. It wasn't. It was filler. And I, like, it was a callback to that past character, but who cares about Cut and his family? Like, was were any of you worried about Cut and his family? Because I know I wasn't. I never gave Cut and his family another second of thought. Not once was I thinking. I was like, I wonder what happened to Cut and his family. Hmm. No, never thought that. Never once. So tell me, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you like this episode? Did you not like me? Did you think it was like, you know, eh? Or did you not like this episode altogether? Just a big waste of time. What do you think is going on with Omega? Like what is, who's, who is she a clone of? Is she the clone of the, the clones of Django Fett, but just they modified it to be a girl? Cause she kind of looks like them, but all like, with blonde hair like she looks like the little boba fett but with blonde hair yeah which is so stupid um or whatever anyways tell me all your thoughts and you can leave all your comments in that section down below if you like this video go and hit that like button you know i won't mind if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it. i will see you guys on the next episode of the bad batch you guys have a good week bye